I don't, this is sort of a small story. I've got a friend, and he said that his dad, growing up, was the funniest man in the world. And he always used to make everyone laugh. And he enjoyed it. He really did enjoy it. But you know what teenagers are like? I was one. We all were one. <laughs> we love to play the role of Moody. And one day, he came home after a day of school, and his dad was there. And his dad cracked a joke. And he said, oh, whatever, dad, you're just not funny. And he said, from then on, he just stopped making an effort. And I think he'd actually, he'd insult his dad. He upset him. And he misses it so much now. Mm. Um, so have a, have a thick skin as well. Teenagers say things they don't mean. And going back to your point, they may act uninterested, but the best pearls of wisdom, the, that's mm. a great saying as well, the best pearls mm. of wisdom I've ever got were from my parents in my teenage years when I pretended not to care. Yeah. Do you know? <laughs> so mm. if you are a parent, you know, have perseverance. Mm. You know, push Why through. do we, I, I know, same thing in my home as well. You know, like um, I was doing, I used to train people to become good parents, parenting courses. Yeah. First time when I learned it for myself, actually, I really, I was amazed to know, actually, I was making a lot of mistakes myself. So they said to me, listen, I know you're a nice guy and fine. It was like a friendship with my kids. You know, it's fine, mm -hmm. cool, let's do it, man. Let's go out, blah, blah, blah. But they said, that's not parenting. You're doing, what you're doing here is there's no no, there's no discipline. Mm -hmm. you, you don't have discipline, they don't have discipline. And stuff like that, they were telling me. I said, it makes sense. You know, it really made sense to me. So one day they said to me, you go home, your homework is go home, take them out, and let them be the boss for today. And you just say, be like one of them. And I said, I'll do that. And I've done that. Honestly, it was, it was, was it good? not good, man. <laughs> they keep telling me what to do. And I keep saying, yeah, do I have to? Yeah, yeah. And then I realized, another thing they said to me, uh, why do you think when you go home, you get angry with your kids? Why? First find out what are the words they use and then it clicks you. And one of the words, I, it took me time actually, I was looking for the word, why, when did I get last time angry? And I said, every time the kids, you say, I don't care, in your face. They don't mean when they say it like that. No. They, they mean, what they mean is, I don't know. Maybe I'm assuming, yeah. I don't yeah. know, but yeah. they say, I don't care. Mm. When they say that to your face, especially your kids, mm. you say, well, do you, you don't care about me? Or you don't care about your life? Mm. You know, there a lot of things that comes into my head, but to him actually saying, I don't know. I yeah. can't do it. Yeah, of course. That's brilliant. Yeah. See, see, then I walked it out. So every time they say, I don't care, I stop and try to flick it out. Actually, he's saying, I don't know. I don't know how to do it, man. Mm. That's it. <laughs> that and and you've got to have thick me. skin as a parent. You can't do it. Yeah. And, and, and from then on, actually, I, I learned on it. So good, that's good. That, that's the way we're going forward. I think if we try, we learn it. Mm. Miles, can I come to you and say somebody new? I'm talking about the parents now. Mm -hmm. What does he look for in his kids, or how can he help his kids to find a job? What does he need to look into it? Oh, you see, if the parent as himself the parent, is going out, okay. Yeah. So, so. Um, the parent should, if they, if they trust this, so if they, in your situation, I mean, you trust your yeah. kid to be a hard worker, very proactive. Um, you imagine should go I, out and imagine rely. Imagine I don't trust. Imagine. Oh like well, that's that. okay. So, so this, this is the two different situations. I need to bring in because them together. as a parent, you worry that if you go out and you search your network and you find and you speak to your friend and he imagine, he offers your kid a job, you worry that your 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 then your child is then representing your name mm. and might not fulfil. Do you? It's, yeah, it is yeah, a genuine yeah. worry. So you've got to make sure that first off. I suppose I think trust is the main thing. I think if you don't trust your child, you shouldn't put yourself out there to get them a job because if the if the kid if the child doesn't want it, um, I'll speak for myself. If my dad got tried to get me a Saturday job and forced me into it when I was mm. a child, I would have let him down. I mean, it never happened, but I would have let him down because I wouldn't have wanted to go. So therefore, I wouldn't have turned up. And if I did turn up, I wouldn't wanted to be there. And if it was, especially if it was with his friend's shop, his friend would then feel like my dad let him down by offering me. Um, and I then let my dad down. So what you should do, going back to this issue that we've brought up a few times, mm -hmm. is one, learn to trust them, mm -hmm. and two, identify their passion. I mean, so if you can find a passion in your child that you know that they will work hard for, say football, um, and you happen to know somebody, or you don't have to know somebody, and you want to do that extra bit of research, find a nice football coach, find, find a football event that goes on on the weekend, and then suggest that to your kids. Suggest something that's in their line that they want to do, and they will definitely be more responsive. 